Hi, what up guys? We're back at it with some Fable of the Lost Chapters, and this of course is my Guild Apprentice playthrough where I'm stuck as an apprentice until the end of the game. Anyway, in the last video we did, uh, I don't know what, Twin Blade I think? Sounds about right. We've got a couple things to do here. We're gonna start with Traitor Rescue, just cause like, you know, technically Traitor Massacre is like an evil quest. I think I might end up just doing Traitor Massacre anyway, just to like get it off the list or whatever, but yeah, we're gonna start with these little mini quests here. Yeah, we did get our lightning upgrade, so this might be a little bit easier than last time. Well, not last time, the last time I was here. The Twin Blade quest, I guess. I mean, why is this guy here, but he like doesn't help me? That's the real question. 40 damage now, huh? See, now the real problem with this is that uh, it's not really that easy to keep these guys alive. It's just not. The traitors, that is. Traitor Massacre, theoretically, should be easy. He's gonna die so quick. But I don't think anybody's even attacking him. I think they're all like far too interested in me right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he didn't take any damage from that, like at all. Now, I'm pretty sure as soon as I talk to this guy, more guys will come, right? No? Oh yes, yes they do. Oh, I can do three at a time now, that's why we're doing so good. Wow, he's already taken some damage too, that's the worst part. Dude, bro, fuck off. Literally fuck off. Keep this guy as far away as I can. I don't know why this guy's like actually able to move, but it's kind of pissing me off. Not the best time to use these, but might as well. Oh, I, I, yeah. On the bright side though, it looks like, I mean, if you can call it a bright side, but like, it doesn't seem like the damage for lightning gets like too crazy. I mean, we're level 3 lightning and we're still only doing like, you know, 40 damage, so. It's not too crazy. Are there two to save? Maybe there are two to save. Kill, kill, kill. Murder, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. Clearly my bodyguard listens to Eminem. Did he just punch him? Holy shit, dude. This guy's a savage. I think I think you do actually have to like save dudes from like the cages or something if I remember correctly. The other thing too is like, I think theoretically I should be able to tell the dudes to like wait, you know? That'd really help actually. I still don't quite understand why like, sometimes the guys like stand still when they're hit by lightning and sometimes they like can walk towards you. It's kind of weird really. I'm thinking the bodyguards are really gonna be like the thing. Honestly, the idea of bodyguards in this game is kind of insane with like how easy this game actually is, you know? But like, you know, they actually do pretty good. Wait. Hey, oh, nah. Dude, where are these guys coming from though? That's the real question. Like, is it not kind of weird that these guys just made a beeline for me? You know what I'm saying? Really weird difference between the original version of the game and the anniversary version of the game. In the anniversary version of the game, these guys do not respawn at all, right? Like, when you kill them all, they're gone for good. It doesn't matter if you talk to one of the traitors, they don't respawn, they just stay dead, right? Like, it's pretty weird. Pretty major difference for, like, enemies to respawn respawn versus not respawn you know i mean in a lot of situations it doesn't matter all that much but like you know when it comes to like you know having to escort traders who are being attacked by these enemies it, it makes all the difference in the world it like it brings this oh no he's dead it, it literally brings this quest from being like a super easy like one star easy rating quest to like being like a five star difficulty quest you know what i mean it's kind of ridiculous i don't really need to go up here do i it's honestly crazy how long this quest takes i mean it shouldn't take this long if you actually do some damage but you know when all you can do is like either 32 or 40 damage it's like it takes a while yeah i don't know man at 32 damage I feel like I need a little bit of physique, right? I'll tell you what, we'll see how much damage the lightning does at its maximum level. And then uh, we'll make like a decision from there, I guess. Follow. It's funny, they respawn again as soon as I tell them to follow. This button. There we follow. go. Doing pretty good so far. And we, all, we do have two of these guys, so theoretically the damage should be sp split between the two. Like they can't attack both at the same time. I mean, they can, but they can't, right? Yeah, definitely have these guys wait. So yeah, these guys, like, they make a beeline for me. They haven't even seen me yet, and they're already, like, seeing me, right? Oh! Sound like a little bitch. Yeah, the power of weight in this game is immense. And should not go unnoticed. I'm thinking I almost want to get, like, heal life. I mean, not necessarily for... I mean, it would come in handy for this type of stuff, too. Don't get me wrong. But I want to get heal life mostly just so I can, you know, have some, uh some bodyguards and actually keep them alive you know what i mean all right that took a fucking long time honestly 15 minutes to do traitor rescue man that's crazy it's extra crazy because like especially if you're doing the whoa 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 almost fucked that up god damn 
What are you doing, bro? Yeah, especially if you're doing the anniversary version of the game, like this is literally like a one or two minute quest if you've got like equipment to actually kill things, right? Like, oh yeah, we got some lightning experience, that's for sure. Can we afford this yet? No. Well, it is what it is for now. As much as I don't really want to, let's do Trader Massacre just because it's it's not going to go away until like I lose all the quests or whatever, you know what I mean? So we're just going to do it. Get it out of the way. I know it's a good build, but uh, you know, I don't like to leave things on the table. I just don't. You know, I wonder like theoretically, if you had heal life, you could just yeah, yeah. heal life this guy the whole time and let him do the work. I'm afraid, so and I think I'm... theoretically it shouldn't be evil if you do that. These guys have like almost no health. That's crazy. God damn, bro. Dude, can you die, bro? Why aren't you getting locked onto? Okay, who is hitting me, bro? I just work here. Jesus Christ. That's funny. Oh my god, bro. Unlock from the thing that is fucking dead, bro. The auto lock in this game is so horrendous. It's fucking a joke, bro. Like, it just locks onto the most random shit sometimes. It's like, oh, the thing like 6,000 miles away from you that's already dead. Let's lock onto that instead of the thing that's literally right in front of you and like actively killing you. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, literally, all you have to do is run a distance check. Be like, distance equals less than distance to literally everything the fuck else equals lock onto that bitch, bro. Like, I don't even know how to code and I could figure that out. That really wasn't that bad at all. That was literally like, what, three, four minutes? Oh, you gutless guild puppet. I guess we'll have to deal with it. I mean, to be fair, I was doing, I'm like doing a good build, bro. I can't be doing stuff like that. It, it ain't me. It ain't me. It ain't me. I don't know if I necessarily need potions, but I've, I've been just straight drinking up these potions. So I ought to do at least like a check. I do like that the beginning of Oakvale has this little spot here that takes you more or less directly to your house kind of nice you don't have to go like all the way around and backtrack tell you what though the one thing anniversary has going for it is the whole oh my god bro these aren't even gonna restock much oh wow we have 241 of those we have so many more potions than i thought we had how come this guy just doesn't carry fucking shit bro oh yes ain't nothing wow they go up one fucking dollar rooney how wonderful oh yes in his quarters, we just sit in our easy bubble with our quarters, discussing how beautiful Gail Porter is. MTV BBC Two Channel Four is on until six in the morning. Then six in the morning, the sun dawns and it's my bedtime. In trouble, your stinking rabble. Like three people probably know what I'm talking about, if that. So yeah, we got we got hell of time for this quest. I'm honestly like surprised how much we've gotten done so far. I thought he just gave me the quest card, no? So I think you've received a new quest card is like, just means you got a new quest. And I think check the guild for more quests is what he says when there's actually, you know, quests here, right? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have to fight it though, right? Fuck, I just realized I'm gonna have to fight two of these fuckers. Not only do I have to fight one of these fuckers, I gotta fight literal two of these fucking things in the arena i did it with the stick though i did it with the stick <whistles> at least it has 30 damage it's not too bad that's yeah, actually not that bad at all fuck bro i literally thought i had that swing so you can't you can't do the triple literal honest to goodness fucking what bro i don't i literally don't even understand at this point bro i'm literally doing the thing and of course he throws a fucking triple you gotta fuck with me Yeah, it's like not even worth doing that. It really isn't. This is so much fucking faster. It's just like it's literally impossible to hit the thing because of like the timing, right? It's got like hope he doesn't throw a triple and then hope. What the fuck? It's like if you can actually get the rhythm right, it works. But it's like if you're not getting the rhythm right, it's not working on you. It's just like and he throws like a triple and it's too late. And he throws a triple, and then it's too late. And he throws a triple, and then it's too late. This is so much harder than Ganondorf. There we go. It's like Ganondorf, at least it was like consistency. It's like the things were timed correctly. You could actually hit them back. Like, I don't know what it is about this game, but it just like kind of semi-sorta doesn't fucking work. I think if I just like straight up don't talk to the dude. Can I just make a beeline for the stones? Which, by the way, you can read these things.
ist. Hits. So, you. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Live, live, live. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Go, go, go. Save, 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 save. Ow, ow. Got enough fucking echo, bro? I don't know why I like to do it this way, but it's like. You know, I've already gone like one extra frame. Might as well go all the frames all the way to Naho Glade so I could teleport there later. I hear some scourge right now. Oh, we got 30 is not too bad, but it's definitely worse than what I should be doing. Kanat Kahol Kaladi. This is the village of Nothole Glade. It's under attack by Balvary. Is it? So its gates are barred for the Is it? I just realized I probably should have gone to all the places to get my potions. It's gonna be too late for Bowerstone now. What do you think? You think I have time to hit Bowerstone or you think it's about to close? If we do, it's gonna be like literally like milliseconds. I'm gonna have to be like frame perfect on this one. Nice. Fucking just barely. And there's almost nothing here anyway. Oh, you know what? I think. Ooh, just barely. Just fucking barely. Oh, we know. Just barely, bro. We're like 20k away. What are you talking about? Just fucking barely, bro. All right, we are gonna get this just so we can take care of some stuff right and then uh, let's go to twin blades and get uh i just realized i don't actually want these guys right now if i am actually trying to do some training i was about to try to do some training but maybe i won't it's kind of hard to do training when you've got these guys with you oh shit these guys have stuff too let's get with the violence then hey mate fuck it mate let's get with the violence think we can handle hob cave together guys I want to see what these guys are capable of. I want to see these guys, like, you know, in the thick of it, right? Right behind you. Right behind you. Are my boys about to get absolutely mollywopped by a box giant here? Oh. We're back to the hops. Oh, shit. We got to get the... Got to get the bomber man up in here. For sure. Well, I just don't get experience from either of those. Well, they seem to do their job, but uh, it steals my experience. That's the only problem. Oh, shit. Dude, almost ruined my day. I might actually get some multiplier from this. Oh, we're spilling guts right now, dude. What are you talking about? How many more guts do you need me to spill? Oh, shit. No, you fucking bitch. Wait, wait, wait. There's four of these dudes in here? What the fuck, bro? Why do we need four mages in here, bro? I'm confused. This is just getting crazy. I once killed a white Valverine, I did. It's true. Did ya? Must you poison the air with your words? Must you poison the air with your words? That's a that's a really good part though about the like you can get multiple of the bad bodyguards or multiple of the good bodyguards, but if you get one bad bodyguard and one good bodyguard, they just sit there and bicker the whole time and it's kind of fucking hilarious actually. Oh well, pretty good though. Teleport everybody. The game like extra struggles with the like triple teleport. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, we should be able to get this now. Sucks. That means I'm gonna want to test it out too. Damn, dude, that's so fucking expensive. But we need it. That's like all we can really use these days. Okay, now we have maxed out lightning. I, I really want to see like what kind of damage we actually do with it. And then I'm gonna use that as like my barometer for like. How much strength I should be able to- What the fuck, dude? I'm so confused. How did that even happen? I literally fucking never. Like, somehow buying a locking carabiner is the thing that made my keys fall off my carabiner. How does that even work that way, right? Like, you get a locking carabiner because you don't want to lose your keys, but somehow the locking carabiner was the determining factor as to whether or not my keys fucking fell off my carabiner. Like, how? Wow, 70? That escalated so fucking much. So you go from doing 30 damage to doing 36 damage to doing 40 damage. You know, these guys might actually be weak against lightning, too. That might be part of it. But yeah, no, I went from doing 30 damage with lightning to doing 36 damage with lightning to doing 40 damage with lightning to now I'm doing 72 damage with lightning. Like, what the fuck kind of progression is even that? Like, I've honestly never been more confused in my life. I think 
with that, I'd be willing to, like, upgrade my strength a bit, my physique. Why, like, literally, why use my sword at all if I could do 72 damage with lightning, right? Yeah, fuck it. I'm doing it. I'm literally doing it. We're doing it now. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. We're doing it today. No toughness, though. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that. We'll keep that real. Let's start with level three physique. See what that does here. I probably should have done one by one, but I'm also not trying to, like, sit here going back and fucking forth, like, one by one. What do you think it does, right? Like... It can't, it can't add that much, can it? Well, from 32 to 46, it's not too bad. So let's see, 32 to 46, that's 14 extra damage? It can't even be divided by three, what? It's like four and a half damage per level or something. It's weird. Yeah, lightning is definitely still better. It's like, it's not that I like want the game to be easier or anything. It's just like, I feel like I've sort of ruined this playthrough with the lightning in a way. Can I buy two of these? No. Well, that's all we get right now anyway, so it is what it is. So we're gonna go from 46 to what, 50 maybe? I think 50 or 52? Maybe 51, who knows? 51. So what's really crazy though, is that by the end of this, we're still gonna be doing less damage than the lightning, bro. I think the maximum damage we're gonna end up doing is like somewhere around the neighborhood of like 65 to 70. I mean, 51 is definitely better than 32 though. It's useful enough to like actually be used at this point, right? Like, but it like still actually kind of keeps things challenging. So it's not too bad. I'm starting to wish I would have just done the strength earlier, man. Like some of these quests would have been a little bit less ham. But yeah, I think I think that's probably good. I'm honestly, I'm glad I did this instead of the White Balverine, because it's going to come in handy for the White Balverine, too. And especially for the arena after the White Balverine, so yeah. Which, actually, that might be a problem. I don't know if we're going to do both of those in the same video or what, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Maybe I should have done White Balverine in this one. I don't know. Anyways, though, I think that's about it for this video, and we will tackle the White Balverine in the next video. I'm not really sure what else we're going to do in the next video, because I think, like, arena is probably going to be really the only thing left at that point, so... Things might get a little weird in the next video, but, uh... We're definitely doing at least the White Balverine in the next video. And then uh, we'll, we'll figure things out from there, I guess. But yeah, see you in the next one. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show the algorithm some love and hit that like button for me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my latest gaming content. Of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member and help support the channel monetarily. On that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to my active channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. It is definitely greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.